learning and understanding enables humans to master new situations time and time again. The integration of this sort of flexibility into machines is the motivation behind the study of cognitive processes at Bielefeld's Cluster of Excellence of Cognitive Interaction Technology, also known as SciTech. Our goal is the realization of cognitive interaction technology, technology that adapts to us humans instead of the other way around. To this end, we combine methods and insights from the humanities, from the natural sciences and methods from computer and engineering science. The way in which children acquire language is a good example of how human learning serves as a model for the development of cognitive interaction technology here in Bielefeld. Guck mal, ich hab Becher aufeinander stellen. So. We are looking at how parents or caregivers are actually scaffolding or supporting um, the learning process for children. And that we try to put on social robots to make them sensitive to the input um, that is actually a big help in learning. However, successful communication requires more than just the comprehension of words and sentences. The nonverbal aspects of communication make a vital contribution to mutual understanding. Even a simple eye movement can create a common focus of attention. Hello. As human beings, we are consistently sending out signals while communicating. These let others know whether and how we have understood what they have said, including nonverbal signals that provide information about our mood and even whether we want to communicate at all. Hello. Ich bin Max. But not every task requires a robot made of metal Alexa. and plastic. Hello, Alexa. Schön, dass du mal vorbeischaust. Lass uns plaudern. Virtual agents are perfectly qualified well, to perform many Fußball informational Rede. tasks for humans, and they are much easier to maintain than physical robots. Zeitek ist der Bierfelder Exzellenzcluster und existiert seit November 2007. In addition, they are flexible partners that can be tailored to participate, for example, in research on how facial expressions and gestures influence communication. First of all, Max can give you information. In other words, you can ask him about Bielefeld University and about our research team, and he will tell you what you need to know. However, he also has his own built-in emotion system. This means that positive feedback will put him in a good mood, but you can also make him angry by being nasty to him. For example, simply entering silly Max really affects him. Das muss ich mir da wohl nicht bieten lassen. He gets really angry and just walks out of the picture and doesn't want to talk anymore. Please follow me. When it comes to service robots, in contrast, for example, receiving guests or fetching objects, mobility is essential. Byron the robot can already navigate alone. He can recognize obstacles and avoid them or take note of locations and find them again. Turn right. I am turning your right. For many of the tasks that are still beyond the ability of robots, nature offers surprisingly efficient solutions. These provide inspiring models for technological innovation. The ways in which bees navigate and coordinate their activity shows how effectively nature has organized the interplay between the sensory and the motor systems. Such complex movements are simply not possible without a sensory system. Even during the fastest flight, bees are simultaneously transforming their perceptions into movement patterns. One of the most versatile and sensitive tools of all can be found quite literally in our own hands. Our hands find appropriate solutions to endless new tasks, such as grasping firmly to making the most delicate adjustments. This fine sense of touch, or manual intelligence, is an important building block in cognitive interaction technology. Yeah. To find out how movements are controlled and to plot the underlying repertoire of sensory motor reflexes, scientists at Bielefeld are studying the nervous system of the fly. This experimental setup generates the visual patterns that guide the fly along its path. For human beings, the ability to coordinate movement sequences, for instance with jogging, running, or even dancing, depends on the detail and precision of their mental representations. Understanding how such representations are built up and organized also helps scientists to construct robots that are able to move more proficiently.
Our vision is to come closer to robots that read off the wishes from our eyes and that are very easy to command for us humans. This, of course, is not a research program for three years, not for five years, maybe not even for ten years. It's a long-term vision to which we are working steadily to come closer. To guide the next generation of young scientists along the path toward this vision, the SciTech Graduate School offers highly research-oriented training in what has become both an interdisciplinary and international field.